hey y'all welcome back to the channel it's the oracle fairy i don't know why i got this hat on i literally just put it on but it's cute i was like yeah fuck yeah the fuck <laughs> y'all know i like the color pink but look something about pink rose quartz may be significant i'm feeling fire up let's get into this reading <clears throat> i definitely got a new deck the journey to the oz and wonderland okay we finna see we finna see but yes i'm so excited to use this tag i'm so like in love with alice in wonderland going down the rabbit hole you know yada 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 it's giving matrix somebody here may daydream a lot this came with it to be continued and it's like a ripped out page from like a book or something so it's giving me like your journey some part of your journey is being like continued you may not know what's next, but you're about to find out. It's giving like you're going down a rabbit hole, baby. <laughs> I don't know what this reading is going to be about, but um, I'm excited. I got a couple new decks that I actually did want to use today. Um, yeah, let's see, though. I right, guess I'll start with uh, this deck. <laughs> mm. I'm just going to see what I'm feeling called to start with. I guess I'll start with this deck. <laughs> okay. I'm also hearing just follow those little things that you want to do. It don't got to be big. Like wearing a fucking hat that you just like, you know, just what shit. <laughs> um, follow those little nudges. Some of y'all just satisfying y'all inner child. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Okay, somebody may be in a really bubbly mood, like you're happy, you feel excited. Okay. Let's see what, what's going to come out. This is a new deck, by the way, so yeah. Ooh, the energy is like, <laughs> the energy is jumping out of the deck. Jumping out the deck. Somebody's going to jump out, pop out, you're going to pop out. Just gonna switch it up on them. Okay, let's see what's coming in for the collector. What is coming in for my collector? Thank you, Soros. <laughs> First card, protected. You're protected. I don't know what the fuck they thought, but you're protected. Knowing that you're sheltered and guided through life's storms to calm shores, find solace and safety. So some of y'all went through a situation where maybe you were feeling at one point like a little unstable, a little unprotected. You, you've always been protected, baby. I feel like somebody could be finding or figuring this out. Yeah, because it says walking unscathed. I feel like you're somebody who you've been through a lot of situations. You've been putting through a lot of positions that was kind of like compromising for your own safety. People may not have even realized just how protected you are, how close to like mm, danger you've walked before. But it's given again, you, you've always been protected. So some of y'all going to be walking away from a situation unscathed. Like somebody could have thought that you was gonna they was gonna hurt you or something like that you're so protected baby <laughs> okay. i love it i love it ooh, 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 ooh. okay so the one card but baby <laughs> the deck's just sorrow heals yeah some of y'all okay look you walked away from a situation where i feel like you were not harmed but maybe your your little emotions your feelings could have been hurt your heart maybe it hurt your feelings your heart you have to heal from a situation, but you you still unscathed. Daniel and the lion's den. This bullseye energy, like somebody thought they was gonna hit their target, but actually Source made them the target. It's given like mm, a spiritual target of some sort that somebody could have thought that they were gonna like. Mm. But you're somebody who I feel like you you walked out of so many situations unscathed. Um, life and death. I'm here in near death situations. Where people thought that mm, they had you right where they wanted you. Something about a fire could be significant. Somebody could be an arsonist. Arsonist. Um, I definitely feel like, yeah, you, you didn't let your pain or define you or something like that. That's why you're going through some type of like a rebirth. Mm, let me see. You could be somebody you see on this car. He's like kind of alone. You could walk alone most of the time. Or again, I don't know if somebody was like, is this a man on this car? So somebody could have tried to catch you when you was alone or something like that. But it's something about you being protected. Um, no matter 
if you walk this path alone, it's again, maybe you're just very solo in where you come and go. It says web of connection. I didn't read it, but I got intuitively like this is your connection to the divine. Like you got you got connects. People thought that maybe because you was walking alone. No, that didn't hurt. That just people could have thought because you was walking alone. <laughs> then maybe you were like, I don't know, vulnerable, easy access. I'm hearing. I'm hearing you're you're actually um what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Like, you can't be penetrated by anything because of impenetrable. That's not really the word, but that's damn near is the word. Because of, like, your spirit team, your protection, the first card out for you was protected. People thought you were alone, though, but you're not. That's why it's kind of, like, almost like in reverse, almost, but it's, like, two sides to the card. But it's more because it was, like, an illusion. You came out of the flames. It's giving Phoenix energy. When somebody thought that they had some type of plan against you or... It's given like you came out, who was that, Daenerys Targaryen, when she went through that like initiation little, it's, it's given initiation and you were, you came out unscathed, Daniels in the lion's den, when they threw his ass in the, like yeah, it's no way you're coming out of there. <laughs> Nothing but, it's, it's given the way you're going to come out of a situation that's going to be letting someone in particular know or people in particular know that you have divine protection because it's like almost like miraculous the way you come out of something. Some of you, this could have been like maybe you hit rock bottom at one point. And the way that you pull yourself back up, um, it surprises people. Many hurtful events that you went through, you did not let that stop you. You still kept your focus because of your protection. I'm honestly seeing somebody's ancestors shielding them from a lot of BS that was going on in the background. Protecting your mental, your emotional state at, at the time, spiritual state. That's why certain things wasn't meant for you to know at a certain time. Because maybe at certain times you wouldn't have handled it the right way or you couldn't uh, have maybe taken it at that time. And Source knew that. So you were always being protected no matter what you were going through, no matter the fire, the winds, the obstacles thrown your way that you were walking through. I feel like you're now learning to like forgive the past. It's, that's what it says on this card right here. This chains around her. So you, it's given like freeing yourself from these chains of the past hurtful events that it's now time for you to walk through that fire and transmute that shit you know what i'm saying you don't got to hold on to that because you've always been protected but yeah you could still look back sometimes get a little bit you know discouraged or feel down but i feel like it's a little big anchor that's being lifted off of you because you're learning how to like release all of those sorrows Coming to, somebody's coming into their own like identity breaking free of whatever these people around you or maybe your upbringing who they made you feel like you had to be coming into your own it's giving like a very independent energy even no matter how old you are it's just giving like coming into this new identity many people won't recognize you when you come out of these flames baby they won't they're not supposed to allow me to reintroduce myself that's what i'm hearing yeah, a real promise. You see, it's giving free energy. The color red represents power, freedom. Something about sexuality. Somebody may be exploring their sexuality or like you're just becoming free in your self-expression of who you are. Because at one point, maybe you were in this like black and white. You were just teetering between because you were still finding your identity yourself. And I feel like, yeah, source is saying to embrace change. Coming to who you truly are, who you've always been. And now you're going to be able to move freely. It says, it, you guys, my say this is a new deck. I ain't never used this deck on this channel. You ain't never seen me use this. Release the chains of the past and dance to the rhythm of possibility. You got them into the heart, listen to the beat. Into the rhythm, rhythm of the street. Ain't that an Arthur song? Ain't that the Arthur's theme song? Dance to the, let me see. Because that's what it's fucking giving. Somebody may used to like to watch Arthur. That could be confirmation for you. But it says release the chains of the past. You're free. Free to move. It's giving the road is clear for you. Somebody, a road opener spell. Maybe you made your own road opener oil. Embrace your liberty to explore new paths. Baby, the path is open for you. Okay, what did I say? The world is wide open for your journey. This journey now is open. I'm hearing because the world is your oyster. The world is your playground. Well, let me see this. Maybe this is not the who is this? <laughs> that was a 
whole other man, not that Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, what you say? Look at that lady, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know what video I'm talking about, but that's neither here or there. Let me get back to the reaction. <laughs> y'all, funny shit does be popping in and out of my head. So, somebody name could be Arthur. <laughs> every day when you're walking down the street, and every day that you meet, you no. Know, and everybody that you meet has an original point of view. Okay, so you can be meeting new people and getting to see the world from their lens, from their perspective. Somebody's growing. Like, I like this. You're coming into a more mature version of yourself. I know that's right. Get in there. I know that's right. Okay, and I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. Okay, so somebody, uh, you learning, you learning teamwork, make the dream work, you know? So maybe you're networking, getting to know new people. Connecting with people outside of yourselves, or and if you're feeling like this is not where you're at right now, this is this could be coming for you, and maybe this ain't your, maybe this is not for you. But hey, I mean, just understand that you have to welcome change. It's talking about change, so again, for something to be a change, I mean, it wasn't there before, right? So for some of you, you may not have experienced this yet, but you're going to. Um, something may require teamwork. You learn it to work with others, especially if you kind of like, oh, I'm good by myself. You might have to get out of your comfort zone, baby. You got to listen to your heart. And I keep hearing something about, A, because I just channeled that song the other day. Who is it? By Roxette? Roxanne? I don't know. I don't listen to that lady. But it was in my head. And that's how channeling works. Listen to your heart. I might look up the lyrics to that too, but we on author right now. So, um... Listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears. Third eye. Listen. Spiritually too. In tune. Okay? Get together and make things better by working together. And it's giving a spiritual community. I don't know why Source just showed me like that card with them people standing there. It's like somebody here, rather than, you know how you, it's a lot of like tarot readers and like I, I see it a lot too because I myself have been in some dramas before too. I ain't too you know, good to see, admit that, but I'm hearing source say it's time to like drop that shit, that negativity, that drama, leave that for the karmics and where they're at, right? You have to ascend past that energy. And it's like getting this energy of working together, community, like harmony, fellowship. That's what's going to bring you like deeper together on a conscious level or the collective type of level. I don't know. I hope I'm saying that right. But it's something about this energy where I know source is saying like it's now the time to harmonize rather than being against one another or something like that is significant it's a simple message and it comes from the heart believe in this in in yourself for that's the place to start and i say hey what a wonderful kind of day if we can learn to work and play and get along with each other what a wonderful kind of day okay yeah, you know dw is always in a way oh my god <laughs> excuse me Listen to your heart when he's calling for you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going and I don't know why, but listen to your heart before you tell him goodbye. So you could be telling somebody goodbye right now. Your path can be, um, what is that called? Like going almost like shifting from another path or you want someone else's path. Couldn't just be it, it, the time ran out or it's coming to a completion or something like that. Somebody's being told to listen to their heart though. I feel like it's leading you in a new direction um, where you're going to be free to move some type of real promise and underneath that was commitment so some of y'all gonna have a, a new commitment coming in to like a journey or something this could this may not have nothing to do with a relationship it could just be a journey that source is trying to lead you on a path within self to finding self and maybe that is the path on which you will be aligned with a romantic love but right now i feel like this is about self some type of commitment that you're going to be calling in okay let's see though thank you source Quiet moments. Yeah, you could be sitting in solitude. Where you taking everything in, doing a lot of thinking, getting clarity before you move forward. Okay, thank you. So what's coming in for my collector, okay? Secrets emerge. Ooh, so some type of secrets may be finna come to light, about to emerge. 1444. So that's protection. 444. The hidden is unveiled. Await the reveal with an open heart and mind. 
Ooh, so ominous. But I don't feel like it's a bad... I don't know. I kind of... At first, I was like, ooh, you need to have secrets revealed. Like, why would you keep it a secret? But I don't know why I don't feel like this is going to be bad. But we're going to see. Um, But whatever was in the dark, <laughs> best believe it's going to come to the light. Best believe it's going to... Best believe it's going to come to the light. So... Yeah, and that's crazy because I was thinking, I, it's sick and I didn't say it. I should have said it. I was thinking of Eclipse Energy. When I was saying it was going to come to the light, I don't know why I was thinking of Eclipse Energy and it says Eclipse of Concealment. Shit is crazy. Understanding the nature of hidden phases and awaiting revelation. Maybe something, something about a cycle coming to an end. Look, answers unfold. Important part. So you see, look, it's a puzzle. So you're gonna be able to put the pieces together. Something gonna help you to put, and you see how it's almost like brainstorming a lot going on in somebody's head. So look, gentle release. You're gonna be able to release something or someone gentle. And I feel like maybe in the past it would have been different if it was like at another time you weren't ready to release this person or the situation, or you weren't ready for a, a truth to come out. And again, for some of y'all, it's not even gonna be no but it, it whatever this truth is that's that you're going to be receiving on a situation. This could be some type of answers you've been waiting for. Something is going to unfold in divine timing, though, I'm hearing. This could be some type of idea that you get that helps you to put some type of epiphany together, a bright idea, or just the final missing puzzle piece or link or something like that. But again, something's going to help you to release some type of path, some type of person, some type of uncertainty. Because again, it's like, yeah, it says hidden keys. You're going to be given the key to like a mission. E mission. Hmm. A missing equation but i don't know it's given like you know maybe like some type of mission here where somebody couldn't figure out how to accomplish a mission or accomplish something here mm, mm, i'm gonna say what i just heard but yeah somebody gonna be i even heard like a revelation somebody may be about to reveal something to you something that was hidden i heard key to my heart you know we always wanted to be about love but no that's what i just heard so somebody may be telling you like you got the key to their heart They've been keeping this a secret. Hmm. Maybe you were looking for the answers. Um, again, be willing to embrace this. It says embrace growth, seek new paths, and welcome transformation with an open heart. So keeping that heart open, embracing potential is giving the winds of change. The sails is heals. Heal. Hmm. Heal. You could be a healer. Something about the heels of someone's feet could be significant. Maybe you needed to ground yourself, too. You don't want to be too in that third eye energy because that could cause spiritual psychosis. So somebody could need to ground themselves. But it says ocean of possibilities. This is, I meant to say the sails. The winds of change. The sails are turning in your favor. Something like that. So, yeah. Some of y'all, this is what you're... This is what you're... I like this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fulfilling a promise. Stay committed to your path for each step brings you closer to your destined fulfillment. So some of y'all made yourself a promise about something that you were going to go towards in or do for yourself. I feel like don't be afraid because it says um, not afraid of hardships. Don't be afraid of meeting hardships on this path. Like it's life. You're going to come across certain obstacles, but it's nothing that's going to be too tough for you to get over. That's something that somebody needs to remember with this ocean of possibilities. The ocean is like endless. Like the death to the ocean. Something about that is significant. Like it's no one has ever reached the bottom of the ocean. So I feel like something about that is significant. You could be reaching new depths um, or going, again, places that people before you. Yeah, harmony's call. Like, you could be led to a place of, like, pure peace and harmony. But it may it may take some, a little, to get there. I'm not saying it's going to be fully just, everything going to be just easy, a breeze. But it, I'm not saying, you. Gonna, I, don't, I don't feel it's like it's going to be a war to get there. Because I feel like the war is over, I'm hearing source say cloud of unknowing so just be comfortable with not knowing right now that's that alice in the wonderland energy so it's like going down that rabbit hole that little adventure that she went on where you know she really didn't know what to expect happiness is simple yeah happiness is also a choice i'm hearing find joy in life's small wonders for they hold the key to a fulfilling content content heart somebody is like so simple like you could just dream of like sitting in like flower fields if this ain't me if this ain't me it's just like simple beautiful little like you you like flowers or like you could you could do this where you live like sit in flower fields and just like frolic and shit or you just like it's giving like that twilight energy with bella and edward when they would just sit out there with the lavender in the lavender field again with ocean of possibilities here so source is trying to tell somebody like really happiness is a choice happiness is is, is 
it's simple it's yours if you want it but you have to be able to you have to be willing to go towards this ocean of change this ocean of possibilities and embrace this change explore new waters explore new depths keep your options open or something like that release these burdens source is trying to help you to release these but again this is that card with the chains baby you see it's in reverse now so it's like you you are unchained you are breaking generational curses i'm here the generational curse breaker in your family baby and there it's like you i'm hearing people in your family or people that was they're going to be realizing like how damn near it was simple but it was fear that they were letting hold them back or something like that peaks reached i don't know why i heard capricorn with that mountain energy you could have capricorn in your chart you know why i love me a capricorn but you're going to be it's some type of milestone or an achievement that you're going to be reaching and it's like standing at the top of that mountain of mastery baby you've mastered something already you're mastering self with something within this journey that source is guiding you towards i'm hearing they're pushing you out of the nest that fledgling energy you were pushed out of the nest and you, you were flying it's like now you're in this energy of flight and you're mastering something i feel like you've earned it says climbed high and earned your view so people could have thought like i don't know maybe they think you're not gonna earn this stance this pedestal that source is placing you upon but baby who better than you why you why not you you've earned this stance you've earned whatever this this monumental place the source is going to be granting you access to with saving grace a graceful entrance i'm hearing something gonna be so graceful you're gonna make it look so easy you make it look easy that don't mean it is easy though but you make it look easy i mean somebody gonna be confused i'm hearing it and I'm here for somebody. This is not even somebody that's connected to you. Like, this is not even somebody that's like a family member. Because, yes, you're bringing generational curses. But this is like people who are going to be like, hmm. Because at the bottom it says, seek clarity. People are going to be trying to seek clarity. Clarity. Something about the word clarity. Somebody's going to be trying to get clarity, baby, on how you do what you do. Like, how? Yeah. Try to clarify that. Because they didn't see this coming for you, baby. This, whatever this, this, ooh, I'm just getting like, you're going to be at the top of something. If many people who possibly was at the top of something before you, it's given like, you gonna, now you're the top dog or something like that. It's, again, it's given a very underdog type of energy. It came out again. This is a different card. Seek clarity. Some of y'all need to seek clarity in a situation. Maybe y'all need to come to me for a reading, baby, if you need a reading. Come on now. Nova K. The link is in the description box and also in the, um, in my bio on here. Some of y'all need to go seek clarity within yourself. Only you got the answers you needed right now. But something about you needed to see clear. Somebody could really use crystals. I was really using my crystals before I came on here. So confirmation, baby. Something about your creative energy that's winding and spiraling within you. Something about somebody's kundalini energy I'm also hearing as well. But it's time to ignite that, that energy within you and get it. I'm hearing get it started. Get it started. Because some some, some, something is going to be monumental, baby. Clear the path. Now, how many? It's two cards already that was speaking about your path being cleared or open. Nothing is standing in your way anymore. It's time for you to get on the path. And I'm feeling like anything that was daring to stand in your way or to try to act as a block, whether consciously or unconsciously, source is going to yank that shit right out your life anyway and place a block there to where they cannot, they can't come back. Harness innovation, feel imagination and witness manifestations as answers unfolding your journey of discovery. Okay. You're harnessing this energy of creativity. You're making it your, again, seek clarity. You see, I'm not lying. Somebody needs to seek clarity hey somebody confused here go ahead and reach out to your spirit guys wish granted spirit is like look somebody y'all like and if somebody could have been really again with the see clarity energy i'm just getting like somebody really trying to dig into like how something is happening for you because for some of y'all you could have been the one that was needing clarity on something but i'm more so getting because i know the way source is giving that to me somebody trying to get clarity on how look wish granted how how something was granted for you with highest good Because source, it's like something was always working for your highest good. And it's going to have somebody confused. Somebody may be like something about a suitcase, packing light, moving soon, or the outcome may not be exactly what you want, but it's what you need. So don't question the way something happens. And some of y'all, again, you could be like, why is this happening right now? How did this happen right now? Like, what may, why, how did, why did this situation even end like this why am i being pushed into this path why did i get fired it's leading you towards something grander than where you were trust your path baby it's, it's a fucking compass trust your inner compass 
Trust that inner compass on the inside, that, that internal navigation system that you have. And that crown that's connected to the divine. It's going to always tell you where you need to be. Listen to your intuition. Seek direction and embrace discovery. Answers reveal themselves within the journey. Pathfinder. Trust your inner compass to illuminate the path through love and career. Revealing the direction your soul wishes to explore. So this is some of y'all. Your soul is telling you to go in this direction. You don't know. You don't know why you're feeling this pull. Why do I feel like I'm called to go towards this person? Because divinely, that's your soulmate. Divinely. They're in your soul tribe. Why do I feel like this, this, this state? Like, I just feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like I would be so happy there. Because, yeah, geographically, you would thrive there. That, that, they, they waiting on you there. They waiting for somebody like you. What's your gifts? What's your talents? Yeah, they got hella ha hairstylists down there in maybe mm, New York. I don't know. But they ain't got one like you. Okay. Serene Haven. Source is taking some of y'all to a safe haven. I mean, something about that energy. The first card to come out was protected. I don't know somebody. I'm even hearing like uh, witness protection. Something. Something. Somebody could be in a witness protection or don't don't fear anything right now on this path. Because Source is taking you to that safe. It was given that energy of safe haven when she had to run from her abusive ex on that movie. So somebody could be running from an abusive ex, and maybe you're going like to a new place, a new town, a new. I'm hearing like you could be scrubbing your identity, like erasing your identity. Unity blooms. It's giving union, though. So something a union could be coming through, like a move or some type of like somebody that wants to protect you. Or something. I don't know why I'm, the first card is well, that was protection. It's giving like somebody could have been dealing with like domestic violence even at one point. Baby, listen. Get out at the first sign if you can. I know it's easier said than done, but if you can, I just feel like sources going to sources protecting some of you more than you know because some of y'all could have really dodged a bullet in the past. Literally, not no pun intended. Um. Harmony's call. So yeah, somebody's name could be Harmony, but something about this next lover, this situation that you're going through is going to be or going towards is going to be so peaceful and harmonious. And again, it's something about like it being like a safe haven. Ugh. Harmony. You got something about harmony. Something about something being very harmonious. Something being balanced. It's something. Mm, scales of balance. Seek equilibrium. And love and career. So some type of change could be coming in love and career for some of you. I, I see that happening. And some of you, this could have been like a slow climb. It's giving like monks. Somebody could be a monk. Somebody could like to meditate. But it's giving like energy of like very, 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 very patient. Maybe very slow moving. But I know that um, patience is a virtue. And they probably should. That's probably the first thing they teach you as a monk. Shit. You got to be patient. And I feel like this love, this change in career, in your life, whatever way, shape, or form is going to come in to bring this balance and harmony for you. But be patient. And it says worth the effort. But I heard it's worth the wait. It's going to be worth the wait. Adapt to transformation. Vortex of change. You're going through a vortex, it says here. Somebody, something about a water sign could be significant. Water. Embrace change with open arms. It's the catalyst for your evolution and growth. And yeah, um, do what you got to do for your your safety. Though I heard prayer for somebody. You need to pray. That is that's so powerful. But this vortex of change that you're going through is going to mold something new for you. Yeah, again, transforming and rising. Something about like mountains. Somebody's going to really be like it's giving like uh climbing a very high peak or something like that. Somebody could like to climb, be like mountain climber. Or... But Source is wanting you to embrace the wind of change, love. Embrace these winds of change, okay? That's definitely the Alice in the Wonderland energy. But this is two different. This is um Oz in Wonderland. I think it's saying so. No, with the Wizard of Oz and Wonderland. So I, I just found this to be so beautiful. I've never seen a deck like it. I said, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> So I feel like okay, I'm hearing somebody finds you to be so beautiful. They've never seen anything like it. The full card here, Miss Alice herself. My name could be Alice. Um, I heard climbing the ladder to success with that mountain energy. Somebody could definitely be a mountain goat, uh, seat goat energy. We're gonna see if that come out, but um. That goat energy, that, you know. The greatest of all time. The Empress. The Moon. 
Taurus Libra Cancer energy here. Mm. Your potential was hidden, Empress. Your results, maybe? Your, your, your climb to the top? Something about you is very mystical, very, very mysterious. I'm hearing with this moon energy, you know how to ch chest tire, ch how you say that, chest tire cat? I think that's how you say, I don't know. Chest or cat, or, let me see. I don't know how to say it. Chest tire, yeah. Something about somebody's eyes could be significant. Someone really loves your eyes with the Ace of Swords here. Something about you, but again, like I said, something about you is very significant and very like concealed. People really want to know more about you with that Ace of Swords there. They want to know your truth. Again, something about some form of a truth that you're going to be discovering is going to help you to put the pieces together about something. I'm even getting like, uh, you know how you later on realize that somebody told a lie about something because you can then put two and two together. Like you then add something up. That's going to happen for somebody too. I'm hearing like you're going to be like sitting somewhere and then it's going to dawn on you like that. ain't makes sense. And then you're going to put two and something like that could be significant. Yeah, we got temperance here. That's the energy of patience. You see, it's an old lady on there. So it's like, again, be very patient with the way that something is happening or unfolding with the magician here. So definitely with these manifestations here. But again, it could have been some form of manipulation that you're going to come out to. But I'm really getting to, um, it's definitely like these manifestations that you have been with the high priestess. Yeah, trust your intuition. Because it's telling you to be patient. It's, te it's telling you where to go. You are somebody who is very guided by your intuition and what you feel is right. It's almost like you just know what to put. I'm hearing people just be seeing like you pulling shit out the hat. It's like people just be feeling like, how are you doing that? But it's your intuition that be telling you what to do. And you know how to like uh, the Mad Hatter and the, the Alice in the Wonderland, like people saw him as kind of kooky. Like people could see you as somebody who's kind of like cuckoo or like <laughs> a little unstable, a little, but it's just like you're, you're a dreamer. You're a, you believe in other things that other people don't. What? You're going to get other things that other people don't. <laughs> Something about like fresh energy, very like, mm. yeah. I'm already loving this deck. It's already giving what it's supposed to give. Twelve out of ten. <laughs> the imagery is beautiful. It slaps. The imagery is fucking beautiful. It slaps. So something about this Ace of Wands is giving Fairy Godmother wand. Is giving Wicked Witch of the West. He said, what the was she? You know what video I'm talking about? <laughs> One thing about me, I live on like videos, y'all. Again, Ace of Swords. So it's giving wands energy. Like something about like, I'm hearing hippity, bippity. Something about like magic, fairy godmother. Somebody have a fairy godmother, little do you know? And I feel like she's granting you something. Or something here is like, it's going to be like, it's giving Shrek. Where the, the fairy god, I wouldn't want a fairy godmother like that. But you know, the bubbles and the land of far, far away. Baby, you're going to be getting something here. And it's, it's going to come through this Ace of Wands. Again, that energy of like a creative endeavor, a new beginning, something you're going to be very passionate about. New doors opening for you and sources pushing you onto this timeline. Nothing is in your way. Nothing is in your way. With the Two of Pentacles. This is a much, something about shrooms. Somebody could like, um, shrooms. Maybe somebody took a shroom trip recently stretch my leg again with the magician here uh you are definitely this magician maji maji got tea somebody may like to watch maji got tea maji got the tea somebody's a hairstylist i'm seeing was because it's uh clippers and um not clippers scissors but it's giving like the stylus scissors. i don't know what that's called but I'm, i don't know baby you manifested something major major for yourself with the magician here Again, you see, I shuffled the <laughs> Pisces, Gemini energy. Trust your intuition when it's telling you about these new endeavors that you got coming in. Because, again, I feel like something started off small for you, baby. I'm here. It started from the bottom. Now we here. Like, baby. Your story. <sighs> mm. People going to wish the white queen. The color white, you know, represents uh, purity. Wasn't the white queen like, uh, who, wasn't that like, what was her name? Who was she? <laughs> what, did she play in like the Princess Diaries? But I forgot her name. I love her. She's so unproblematic. Let's see. Anne Hathaway. I knew that was her name, but I just thought I was wrong. Anne Hathaway. Mm. 
She was the white queen, I believe, in the movie. Let me see if she was. Mm. Was that even? Okay, let's see. Yeah, she was actually. Yeah. She was the white queen. So remember she had the sister that was kind of like the big headed one. She was jealous of her or something like that. Or really, it wasn't even that she was jealous. She was just mad about some shit that happened in their childhood when she hit their head and her sister just wanted her forgiveness or some shit like that. So that could be significant for somebody. And I remember I was saying in one of my other readings something about Goob. I know I'm talking fast, y'all, because I just got a download. And I was saying something about like him kind of being hurt that his his friend like got adopted and he didn't or something. I don't know if that's really why Goob was mad. I forgot. I really haven't watched that movie in a minute. But some, something about a sibling could be upset. Yeah, you got a queen of pentacles energy here. It could be an herb sign. You could be an herb sign. When I cut the deck. But somebody could just be upset with, like, something that's coming in for you. Or, like, I don't know. But it's giving, like, I, I don't feel like, mm, it's kind of sad. Because, you know, the other queen was kind of just mad that if you really watched the, the movie. She was just upset because, like, her hair grew ten times the size of shit. Because, but then she just wanted her sister's, like, apology or something like that. Or, I don't know. We got the king and queen of pentacles. So, baby, somebody could be meeting a mat soon. This could be where your, your, your intuition has been trying to lead you with this Ten of Cups showing his face here. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Mm -hmm. Follow the yellow brick road. Okay, with this lion here. Don't be fucking scary, cowardly lion. Leo energy <laughs> with the Ten Man. Why his ass going hard like that? I'm not even going to lie. I just want to show y'all that real quick because it's no way this Ten Man's ass. Excuse me. The Ten Ass. No. <laughs> Why? They must have oiled him up real nice before. Anyways. But yes, baby. Follow the yellow brick road because that's going to take you straight to Nirvana. Your ten of cups. Could be two earth signs here. Maybe being guided towards each other. Oh, a queen of cups came out in reverse. I'm going to put that back in there, though. I ain't going to take that. Because it's giving, um, crazy. So, so, I don't know. Could definitely be two people, regardless of the zodiacs. Um, full crap. Being guided towards each other. Taking a leap of faith together. The Hierophant, Aquarius, the Taurus energy. Somebody's feeling like, okay, let's see. What is this King of Queen of Pentacles that's here? Okay. A rebirth here. So somebody could be going through a rebirth or it could be an ending coming. Okay, actually... I have to just look up this because I'm not going to lie. I was so confused. That's the four of wands. All them damn kids. Oh, God. Mm. Somebody, um, <laughs> somebody may be getting married and having a lot of kids. The yeah, knight of wands. Um, somebody could be going through like a divorce, an ending of a marriage. But I'm also, I actually was hearing like uh, you, a, a rebirth. You and your person could be going through a rebirth. A big change together. That's what I'm hearing. Listen to your heart. For some of y'all, y'all could be leaving somebody behind to go towards another path, another person. Listen to your heart, baby. With this four of wands, you could be leaving behind something. Look, two of wands. But guess what's on here? The yellow big rug. So some of y'all is like, you leaving behind something else, but you, it, 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 you, can't, you can't get over the fact that it's leading you where you need to be. And you're getting loud. So much loud and, and it's just precise confirmation for whoever you are. Somebody may have a dog that look like this. Something about a dog that look like this. His name look like, oh, his, his name Toto. <laughs> That's Toto. <laughs> Toto. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like a tower or something like that because I feel like Source is guiding you. Source is guiding you, baby, towards your person. So stop trying to fight this energy. And you could be intimidated. I'm hearing intimidation, intimidation. Because something, cause somebody could be a gentle giant. I don't know why I was giving, oh, I don't want to say that. But it was definitely, I, I heard Shrek and Fiona. And I'm not saying that because of how they look, but kind of like, but it's more so given like, um, I said it because of how big he is. And I don't know why I heard, you know how she was thought like, oh, he's going to judge me. Who would want somebody so ugly? Not, not like me. Who would want, the person that's for is going to understand you such on a deep level like that. No one else has ever understood you before. And it's even given that energy of that movie Penelope, I think. When she kind of had like a curse on her or something like that until she found somebody who could love her for who she was, her real self. So some of y'all could be hiding like this real part of yourself that you haven't really shown anyone. But really the whole part of it all is six of wands, baby. I can't make this shit up. And 
It's going to come through when you're your authentic self, when possibly you stop hiding this piece of yourself that you always were shunning or thinking no one would love you for. This yellow brick road is leading you, for some of you, towards this six of wands. And for some, you could be aligning with a lover on this path. Trust your intuition. Somebody that's going to understand you for you and love you for you. When she was saying, who would love a big, ugly monster like me? And Ducky said, well, shit. Ain't y'all the same? Like, somebody, I don't know. <laughs> so some of y'all need to stop looking at yourselves in such like a negative light because you and your person are going to be like one and the same. It's like you look at the way you see yourself is going to be the way. And I feel like you're not going to see your person the way you see yourself. So you got to come out of that energy. They're going to teach you how to love yourself with the full card here and the six of wands because this person is your damn person. And for some of y'all, this is just like a path that you're destined upon very big that's that monumental six of wands a lot of eyes maybe on you when you accomplish something when you go towards a certain path a certain person that you were feeling guided again with the hierophant you were feeling spiritually guided down for some of y'all this is like a spiritual path that you were on you were feeling you opened pandora's box you went down a rabbit hole with that follow the right rabbit so um yeah for some of you it's like you know, the taurus or an aquarius could definitely be significant I, it's a lot of divine intervention in his reading. Source is trying to lead um, you towards this ultimate victory. But be patient, baby. Because I just heard everything is happening for a reason the way it's happening right now. So we learn to look at things from another perspective or see the uh, opportunity within the chaos. Because they going for Dorothy's rescue on this card. So something about like somebody could feel like they need to save you or they want to save you from a situation. safe haven baby i can't make it up i just was sitting here getting the strongest download the moon somebody may be keeping it hidden that they're watching you or that they were i don't know y'all i don't know what y'all was somebody could have really been going through like maybe somebody just watched you go through a, like a heartbreak or again you could have hit rock bottom and somebody's like watching i don't know i'm just getting like somebody watching somebody but take this leap of faith i feel like some of you are you're being pushed onto this this justice baby and this is going to be your justice this is going to be your justice A Libra could be significant. Something about court could be significant for someone. I feel like somebody wants to come in and bring you justice. It's giving knight and shining armor with this. I'm telling you, with knight of swords, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok energy. From somebody's like, yes, now or never, Ace of Cups. It's giving the love potion from off a of, uh, fucking Shrek. I'm telling you guys, but I know this is not that it's not a Shrek deck, but it's giving. Like, I don't know why I'm picking up on like Shrek. Somebody may like to watch a lot of Shrek, but it's definitely giving. Like you know how somebody thought that they had to change who they are. Shrek thought he had to change for Fiona to love him, and you know, baby, you gotta be your, you could be yourself with your person. This person is gonna love you for you, and you know how she was a princess and he was an ogre, but she had a curse put on her too. So I don't know. It's giving like just love yourself for who you are. You know what I'm saying? And your person is gonna love you for who you who you are too. Drink me vile. So, yeah, somebody's going to be drinking this potion of love. You are this potion that somebody can't get enough of. I don't, I don't Yeah, you don't have to change who you are for your person. They're going to love you for you. And this is the form of justice that's coming in for you. Some form of communication that somebody's about to get to you. I feel like you're, somebody's going to reach out to you. This lover. Some form of good news you could be waiting on. I'm hearing somebody signing something. A contract, a lease. A contract or something I'm hearing. Somebody could be signing. A, I'm also hearing again, somebody wants to be your knight in shining armor. So they could be communicating with something with you. The chariot, the flying monkeys. I'm telling you, something is going to be coming in so quick. Cancer energy. This, this some, some form of like... See, Toto, right, though, somebody could have, like, a spirit animal or something, some type of animal that could be placed upon your path, too. It's like your your soul, it's like your soul tribe or your soul family or something like that. It's like cats and stuff like that, like lyrens and felines. I cut the deck. I'm telling you, somebody could have, like, a cat, like a lyren, starseed, feline. And this, this animal was, like, gifted to you or given to you or you bought it at the right time or something about it, like, being, like, a... The cowardly lion, some a Leo could be significant coming in for somebody, but it's given. I don't know if you have a pet, especially like a, a orange cat or a, a I was gonna say a lion, it's like my pet lion. Um, but like a whatever, because I, I definitely was getting a feline, like star seed type of energy because I was looking that shit up the other day, like lions and shit like that. The sun, double. I can't, some look, somebody may be a Leo here. 
but listen to your heart. Because look, baby, the cowardly lion in there, he was supposed to be the one that came out and be on some raw. Don't bother my fucking friends. He was the scariest one out of the group. Like, bro, you was a whole lion. How you a lion? You're not, you're not lying in. You're not lying in right now. So somebody, again, with this heavy Leo, you could be a Leo or have it predominantly in your chart. Leo, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Baby, uh, you're, you're needing to stand in your power. This is your time. Rescue your damn self. But again, you do have somebody with this Ace of Cups that's wanting to be your knight in shining armor and come and help you in a situation. We got the empath, the hungry tiger. So this person could be an empath themselves and they could be like, could be a Leo or you could be a Leo. And I feel like somebody's like, you could be this empathic energy again. Something about monks or something like that. It's giving tigress from Kung Fu Panda. But um, I don't know, something about like a feline. You see tiger, lion, something. <laughs> Somebody's definitely like, look at you could be from a Lyran, like Starcy type of, um, definitely, um, somebody needs to be brave. I feel like you're an empath, so, or somebody, uh, again, like maybe they're afraid, I don't know, to come in on this path, but listen to your heart. Because it's going, I'm, I can't make it up, you guys, it's, it's leading you to your Ten of Cups. Somebody can have a, a two different paths to choose from with to, the Enchanted Forest. And it, you got to be careful in what you pick up and do on this Enchanted Forest. It could be many different twists and turns and illusions. But I just feel like if you follow your heart, that's going to be the light to guide you. It's going to be the light. The star. <laughs> it's going to be the light to guide you, okay? You are the star-like energy. And I feel like your light is guiding someone straight to you. And this person, I'm getting that they're a little afraid. They're a little intimidated, too. Because with this cowardly lion energy, I don't get this. I mean, it could be y'all. Because for some of you, this is not love. You're just going on this journey yourself. This is you. And you could be the one in this cowardly lion energy. Where now you're in this energy of strength. You're now in this energy of courage. You're now in this energy of boldness. You're not afraid to show who you are. You're not afraid to step into the spotlight. Because favor, fortune, the bold. So, or fortune favors the bold. I knew that sounded a little off. I had to pause a little bit. Like, hold on. I don't sound right. <laughs> so some of y'all, you are this, like, you're something about your confidence, your, your, your boldness, your, I don't know, your authenticity, your personality. Yeah, yeah. It's giving first house. Like, you're just self-expression, the star card, baby. You are a healer. <laughs> you are very bright, light. Glenda, the good witch. So, yeah. You, it, it, the white witch, the good witch. I mean, the what's that? The white, yeah, the white witch, I believe. And it's given like you're just of a pure energy. You're just of a, a good light energy. I don't know if it's where's the wicked. I'm waiting on the wicked witch of the west because it's always a wicked witch of the west. And that's why that first card that came out for you was protected because whoever she is, she ain't, she ain't that important. And um, yeah, you could be somebody who works with the elementals and elements and the earth. Ooh, to heal you. So the way that came out, the way it came out, it flipped out the goddamn. The emperor is here though. An Aries could be significant, an Aquarius could be significant. Somebody may be finna pop out on you or hop up, pop up. Metamorphosis, underneath the emperor is the metamorphosis. So somebody's emperor is definitely going through a metamorphosis. And this person is going to come back to you changed. This person is going to come back to you different. You're not going to recognize them or it's like they're going through a deep change. It's like, I don't know. He is the Wizard of Oz. He Remember, he was the controller of everything. So some of y'all are realizing that this whole time you've been the controller of your own fate. What they say, the captain of your ship. It was like all an illusion or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that SpongeBob thing where he was like behind the damn scenes. And it was like, damn, this is fake. That SpongeBob where they pulled the curtain and it was like the person behind the, it was like a projector or projection. So everything is like a projection of your own like inner world or reality or something. And somebody's realizing like, or through this transformation, this could be you as this emperor energy, whether feminine or masculine, female or man, woman or man. It's given like, um... You're realizing that you've had the power all along. You're reclaiming your power, taking your power back through some form of a spiritual transformation that you're going through. But again, I'm even getting like somebody's divine masculine could be going through a big transformation in their life. With the lovers here, Gemini energy with the empress here, Taurus energy, Libra energy with the will of fortune, Pisces. So again, yeah, for some of y'all, you in your person um, with the will of fortune here. Again, TikTok with the clock here, some type of change with the white rabbit as you both follow some type of change through time or go through this mm, go through this shift together this metamorphosis the blue butterfly so that was like you're going through this from a change from a caterpillar you and your birth uh mm, mm, you and your person are both changing but i say a birth i don't know something about your person's birthday your birthday or something about birthdays could be significant 
the lovers here though i feel like again you and your lover are being drawn together through a metamorphosis that you're going through or you could already be with your person and you're both undergoing this transformation together with that, the empress and the emperor um again if you have not met your person yet i just feel like it's divine timing with the lovers and the will of fortune that's why that yellow brick road y'all this energy beautiful 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 we got the devil here baby capricorn could be significant the queen of hearts definitely okay so i don't know a capricorn could have been the bad guy in the story for somebody here you could be dealing with a capricorn you could be a capricorn mm. Mm. Ooh, somebody gonna be hurt oh somebody gonna be hurt 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 could be an air sign with the red king here ten woodman's heart the three of swords Somebody could be hurt, like, about you moving forward, you moving on. Again, you could be somebody who's, who you've broken some type of cycle. You've broken the chains. And I just feel like, mm, again, yeah, you definitely could be a Capricorn dealing with one with the devil here. I said you broke the cycle, you broke the chains, and the devil came out. You could have been somebody who fought tooth and nail to get to where you are. But that's why I said the fight isn't, the war is over. I mean, they may have won the battle, but you won the war okay and that's what it's given because people could have thought again like maybe when the situation's like yeah i just want that yeah sure but six of swords the sheep is given like the lamb of god or the lamb of wool and water you know how they say um yeshua's hair was made of like wool something about the, the 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 lamb of the son of the lamb or something like that mm. it could be somebody who pleased the blood of jesus whatever yeshua however you want to say his, his name have you tempers here you you are okay with being patient and waiting your turn um, again maybe because you knew too that you had some things that you still have to fix with this devil energy codependent energies um things that you had to grow out of sources helping you to move out of that with that devil and the six of swords to move away from something that was like maybe toxic codependent with the witch here dorothy that's dorothy baby so you definitely, I don't know, you could be a Sagittarius, you could be a Capricorn with temperance and the devil here. But it's definitely given, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, where whoever you are, Dorothy, we ain't in, we ain't in Kansas anymore, okay? Somebody made me from Kansas. Silver slippers. Put these shoes on, everything changes. Okay? So something about these shoes you're walking in, people gonna be wishing they were walking in your shoes. Soon, with the Three of Wands, soon. Somebody about a, 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 a botanica, not a botanica. Hmm, somebody may be going to a botanica. What is that called? Botanicals. <laughs> a botanical garden. The messenger. Yeah, you're going to be getting a, a message from somebody real soon. But I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, for some of you, this could even have to do with like a career move, a career change that's coming in for you that you've manifested. And you may have to relocate for this. Something about the where your feet is guiding you or where you're going again i don't know why it's giving like cinderella energy too like one size fits all you are this main character in the story though um but it, you know how in the human version of i listened to one of that too she was like helping all of them like in their own way or helping that little world that they were in or something like that so you could definitely be like changing that dynamic in some type of mm, no Alice. so some of y'all could be like and now you're learning how to stand up for yourself even if it make you look like mean sometimes it's given like you just know how to put yourself first now again with this lion on here like you're no longer like in this cowardly energy where people could have thought that they could run all over you at one point you're closing out cycles too with people who just you're seeing the truth in certain people or sources going to be making it like uh, you, you with the two of cups because some of y'all are honestly being led queen alice i'm telling you towards your true divine counterpart she was crowned in their world. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So yeah, some of y'all, you, you guys are being led towards um. Some of you just could be a masculine being led towards a real divine feminine, a feminine being led towards a real divine masculine. But two of cups here and Queen Alice. Again, I feel like you're gonna be so. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Just you're gonna be very, very emotionally content, but more so like you're gonna be happy with the results of something that's coming in for you. 
It says a wish upon a star. And I feel like that's what you, you've been wishing upon a star for some form of a change to come in for you. And at one point, it was black and white. Like, you didn't really know what to expect out of something. Again, but it's like you just followed your heart. And I feel like you're going to come upon some type of discovery or something like that. Somebody could have their own garden or want a garden. I, I see you making wise investments and they're about to be so fruitful. Like I'm hearing like it's, it's coming in when it's time. So don't try to rush when something comes in. With the queen of swords, the red queen again. No, that's actually the first time the red queen came out. Okay, hold on now. Let me see who the red queen was. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. I know the red queen was the big headed one. I thought she it says queen of swords though you could be an air sign you could be dealing with but look y'all it says the wicked witch's possessions i don't know the wicked witch could be an air sign somewhere in the story for y'all and she could do like potions or something this could be like a practitioner or somebody or a root worker somebody who's into like a, 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 a witch in their own right but you see it was a good witch and a bad witch so i feel like y'all the good witch and whoever the bad witch is they're gonna have to see that you're flying forward on this chariot the messenger they're gonna get a mess i'm hearing they got the message clock it <laughs> somebody's gonna be getting a message that something did not work something that's moving forward for you somebody's gonna want to come in i'm feeling like some form of communication is coming in for some of y'all this could be somebody that's younger than you spiritually younger than you i'm hearing or something like that or just younger and this person um they could want to communicate with you and apologize about something i feel like this person is um regretful about something possibly about how long it took for them to come around and to tell you or communicate with you somebody could even um be i feel like leaving something out in the cold right now this could be you guys yeah somebody's going to come towards you eventually though could be a fire sign um Cause this person has been doing some form of thinking about like you being emotional fulfillment for them or something like that. I don't know. Or they're going to tell you about somebody. I feel like somebody sees you as emotional fulfillment because I'm seeing the king and queen of cups. So, or maybe this is like somebody that they were with at one point, but that's not, you know, I was more so getting like this person going to want to come in and tell you about some form of like, I don't know, whatever that want to, they want to tell you. It'd be about, somebody that they just had to release but I, I also just heard that this could be somebody who felt like you were they were aligned to you like they're feeling called towards you but it's not they were taking a long time for some of y'all but it's not even like a long time i mean trust trust and this just fell out unlock happiness so some of y'all again that key energy this is going to be like that missing link that missing puzzle that key it's key to somebody hard yeah some of y'all gonna be getting the key to an apartment a car but the key to, i just heard key to somebody hard look nurture growth so attend to your bond with love and patience so some of y'all this is a, with a lover that source is telling you to be patient with is you're going to share a strong bond with this person burning bright stoke passion to keep the flame alive intimacy sparks warmth so some of y'all you and this person's the flame will never die out i'm hearing with love song somebody's person could like music they may be an artist or like to write they may have written you a love song let love's melody inspire your dance together rhythm and sync in harmony you see that word harmony this is a new deck too um something about this relationship for some of y'all that's coming in is going to be very harmonious and it's going to be very peaceful this person is going to give you peace unlike the past where i feel like somebody could have been very tumultuous or very straining very stressful had you always stressed out and always here and there but this next person this next relationship this next job this next location or something is going to be very harmonious and peaceful for you with ever after here so some of y'all y'all will be growing old with this person uh, there's something about this person like you and this person valuing like time or like loyalty plan ahead somebody's been like making you see he watching somebody's been like watching you and like planning i'm here i gotta scope out the scenery gotta scope the scenery out 
So somebody wants to go on this walk of life with you. They want to do this thing called love. <laughs> stay vigilant. What did I say? Somebody watching y'all. The source trying to tell some of y'all to stay vigilant. Uh, I got again safe haven energies for some of y'all. This is not in a. Mm, sorry, this is like that stalker again. Here, hello. Is it me uh, looking for? No, you know it ain't. So watch out. So yeah, some of y'all. I don't know. You could have like cameras outside. Somebody could want to like stalk you or watch you, but you need to stay vigilant. But again, I was getting like somebody could just be. Y'all could have a secret admirer watching you. Ooh. So I said set clear boundaries to ensure your well being for some of y'all. Yeah. You need to set boundaries with somebody because somebody could crave control. Um, and I feel like you're moving in a more that's y'all. If they ain't giving that safe haven movie, I don't know what it is. Again, so you could you could be meeting somebody on a new path, on a new in a new relationship. Like maybe after you left something that was just emotionally draining and harmful to you spiritually, physically, emotionally, whatever. Open chapter. There are still pages to write, so make them great. So somebody somebody here could be a writer. You're going to be a writer one day. I'm here. Write that memoir. Write that story. Keep going. Something about you needing to revisit something that you could have been very good at. Again, somebody could be like to write in the past or something here that sources wanting you to um, keep going towards. Again, something about control. Somebody could like really value control and somebody could have been very controlling from your past. And it's like you need to set clear boundaries with this fucking person because somebody, somebody probably be, probably or possibly isn't going to take it very well to see you moving on to somebody new. I don't know why I'm getting that strongly for somebody. And you could have been very unsure. Um, yep. It could have been a masculine here. Because um, he don't look like he, 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 like he going up on, on rough times. So somebody could have been like unsure. But you're very sure about what you're moving towards. And this person is unsure. But look, coming around. Somebody going to be coming around. Hoping for another chance and wanting to try again. But I do feel like somebody right now, they're in a space of where they're just unsure within their own actions and past actions and decisions. But it's like they could be trying to stay strong. But I feel like you are already moving on with your path or like you're moving forward towards something that, again, this could be somebody who's trying to follow their heart towards you. But, um, yeah, love blooms. Could definitely be pretending to some form of love that's about to bloom in your life, though. Because somebody is definitely hoping that you're going to give them another chance. Um, a romance blossoms into full-blown feelings. So, so, yeah, something that could be in the beginning stages or just blossoming into something full-blown. Um, but maybe at first somebody was really unsure if something would like work out, if you were like right for them, that this would be harmonious. What is this person feeling? Fine romance. Oh baby. Oh baby. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> no, let me stop. It's a ring on this goddamn guard. So somebody wanna marry you. Caught up in a whirlwind of emotions and promises. You guys, this card says a romance blossoms is a full blown feeling. Somebody not even gonna be able to help the fact. Mm. Message popped up. Somebody could have definitely thought that you were like naive or weak because of how pure you are, but I promise you that's gonna be exactly why you getting blessed in these people's faces. Cause somebody could have tried to play on that, maybe a past partner, saw how loving and caring and love, you know, emotionally vulnerable you were. But this next person gonna want to put a ring on it too. And they see, ooh, fine romance is giving. What is that? Um, by Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga, a bad romance. Mm. a bad romance. I don't know. Somebody can want a bad romance with you. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. I'll just settle for this. <laughs> I was looking for my phone, but I don't know what I did with that. Yeah, love stories. Again, somebody could be writing a love story. You could be writing your own love story like the notebook. Fan the flames. I was I was feeling twin twinsies twinsies type of energy, but you know what? I was I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it do what it do. Doing what it takes to keep the passion. Again, somebody could be really trying to like keep the passion alive in a relationship or renewal. For some of y'all, this is someone you've been with for a while, and but I feel like there's gonna be a renewal in love and this romance again with harmony. Some y'all something is going to be so harmonious you could be starting a family with this person you could have a family maybe it was something about like postpartum depression i'm hearing for somebody and it's like you're now getting back in tune of who you really are your flow of something again something's going to be harmonious again and i feel like the spark the passion and the, and the connection especially if this is somebody at one point for some of you that you could have disconnected from but it, it's something that's going to bloom again the love bloom something's going to be harmonious again i'm here almost as if it never like ended for the both of you, it almost like didn't. It's 
somebody's been keeping this alive in their heart or the both of you have sweet allure embrace the unknown and let love bloom on its own i can't make it up again something about love blooming for some of y'all because it could go two different ways for some of you this is someone you've been with and it's like you're reigniting the passion and for others of you this is someone entirely new and it's something about flowers something about like the springtime you know how things start growing and blooming like somebody wants to get to know you and they may want to be patient with the way they're getting to do this getting to learn you letting things unfold naturally letting go of having to be controlling or control the way something happens Somebody really likes roses. You want somebody could be grown apart. Somebody from the past or just things from the past. And it's like, that's that's why something else is going to be coming in for you. Here, we're making magic here. Everything seems perfect and it's not an illusion. Wow. So it's like, you could have been feeling like maybe because of the past, like things just are like fairy tales. That's just unrealistic. You know, real love ain't looking like that. Looking back, yeah, don't look back. Um, some of y'all could have been looking back to the past. Like, what if I could have made it work with this person? What if I could have? But it's given like, you know... I feel like you're manifesting something so much better for some of you if you choose to take somebody back or go to the past if you feel like that's your person or where you're being called then go ahead but i feel like for some of you it's like you could be manifesting an entirely new love or something that maybe you've never been with this person on that level maybe this isn't somebody who you know had you had to heal from at least not in that way um and this is somebody that i feel like source is going to want you to open your arms to or like be with golden cage here break free from stress and toxic relationships i can't make it the fuck up I can't, and I wouldn't even if I could, but yeah. So, um, <laughs> some of y'all breaking free of this cage or whatever this was, um, having a long way to go or taking many detours or riding road, and I even get that it was because of your free will. Some of you were holding on to toxic people, situations, relationships that you knew weren't really what your heart was desiring or your soul. It wasn't really what was conducive for your own growth, for your future, for your well-being, your path, and it, it sources leading you towards the people the connections the things on your path that's going to help to lift you up to raise you to put you in a better position you feel me and a lot of you are in this energy of breaking free of these cages that you were in that's why it's like yeah yeah for some of y'all this is definitely love some of y'all just need to pay attention to your lover more i'm here for those of you who know you're with your person you feel it in your heart but it could have been problems back and forth with you guys I just tend to the connection work with each other be more patient with each other that's all that it needs it just needs more love it just needs more attention it just needs more patience and understanding i feel like somebody could um you could be waiting on somebody a response from somebody or again i'm just feeling like move with love more in, your, in a relationship because you and your person love each other I, I felt that for somebody you and your person love each other so that's definitely uh significant for somebody but listen to your heart and what is guiding you towards where it's guiding you towards again for some of you you're breaking free of something that was holding you down it was holding you back could have been your own toxic energies and habits and you know uh and your the guardian angel your guardian angel is helping you to come in and break free some i heard somebody could have a, a issue with gambling their money away or you just bake big bets maybe you really have a good hand but it's something that you're gonna have to release okay baby it's some type of habit here the source is trying to help you to alchemize throw it in the pot throw it in the pot could be a bad habit like smoking. Maybe somebody like vapes too much. This is not a vape, by the way. It's a sour Skittles. But it's not a vape. But I'm sure it still isn't healthy. Yeah, but look, love life. Somebody's love life is about to be alchemized. So it's going to be a change in your love life. I just heard somebody say, why she blowing that smoke all in my face? I'm not. transformation i know i'll be chewing the hell out that gum it's so fun <laughs> i got sense i ain't over here just smacking i got sense i just like to do what i want to do so yes but so somebody's guardian angel is coming through helping you to alchemize your love life so something here is going to be a change for some of y'all in love is going to transformation is here it's going to a transformation some of y'all this is going to be like a social status you're being crowned or something about your social status the social group that you're hanging around your social what is that I think that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, social cast. But it says a social cast is any of the rank hereditary social groups, endogamous, often linked with occupation, that together constitute traditional societies and society. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Somebody's going to be something where that's significant a social cast or something like that 
Or it could be from like Asia of that descent. Something about law and religion. So something about mm, India. So somebody is, I just feel like, baby, her Vietnamese. going to be a change yeah fertility some of you could be going to this energy of fertility um somebody may be pregnant or get going to be pregnant yeah with opportunity though but i feel like more so with this egg energy is given like fertile with new opportunities fertile with new doors opening for you and new growth and new possibilities and fertile with new creative energies fertile with new life new love change it says new new job opportunities change of work or business trip so again something about yeah somebody could be thinking about family it says on here starting a new life starting a new family and i just feel like man throw it in a pot because <laughs> when you come out on the other side it's gonna be a new result like yeah i don't know somebody could be scared of making the wrong decision here it's spirit is wanting you to think before you act somebody could feel like they made the wrong decision like they went down the wrong path they just didn't make a wise investment no. Yeah, look, because I was asking what was that about with loyalty and gambling here. So somebody could have been like, somebody could really like gambling or like um, throwing dice on me here. And somebody could have gambled away their money. They were just being led down the wrong path. Somebody could have just took the wrong path and they're like, you still have to stick to your path or you still have to stick to some type of calling. Or this could have been somebody who was like loyal to you or wanted to be loyal to you. Or again, some of y'all, again, somebody could have been going down a wrong path they gambled your heart they gambled something here and again you could be going 11 11 what i just saw 1 11 11 all them goddamn ones just threw me off i couldn't even so yeah you you definitely somebody who's in alignment so loyal so that, that's definitely giving an awakening energy you're gonna meet somebody who's actually loyal to you that's why that commitment card came out and that's why it's going to be a transformation in your love life for some of y'all you were still holding on to people who you knew for a fact were like toxic you knew they were they went out for you reclaiming your power something about like a power struggle but it's like you sit on your throne unbothered making wiser investments you are the investment you are the investment with perfect like i said perfect fit something that's coming in for you is actually going to be a perfect fit rather than something that maybe you were trying to force in the past because when it's for you you ain't got to force it when it's for you you gonna know when it's for you it's already waiting on you okay moving up you again moving up on some type of like level of i don't know in whatever way shape or form that source is going to bring this level up this glow up this divine change is going to come through a new beginning for some of you from most of you for all of you <laughs> for those of you who this resonates with again i don't know somebody could be getting like um chosen hand-picked for something it says having an eye for beauty and uncovering hidden charm so somebody could have like an eye for things that are very beautiful that are different and they may like you your work your face your your, your clothing business or i don't know something that you do I feel like it's going to really work out for you. Okay. Cut the deck again at the sun. So that's that Leo energy. That's the happiest part in the deck. Some of you, I just feel like you're walking into this, this radiant energy. You're just reclaiming your authority and your power. And this is going to be a very, very, very joyful time for you. All right, let's pull some closing cards for us. What's going on with the collective closing out? What's the closing message? That would be healing and beneficial for my collective. Mm. Ace of Swords. So again, baby, something about this, this level of truth and clarity. This is all true. Source is confirming. The sword of truth is out here. Speaking your truth. Self-expression. Again, some of you are going to be getting this, this communication that helps you to put the puzzle pieces together could come from a download i'm hearing through a tower moment that happens it's going to kind of like throw it all out on the table i'm hearing like something's going to come unexpectedly though again something about this communication baby the ace of cups is out here for your ass we got the ace of swords and the ace of cups somebody didn't fell in love with you boo that's what this is and somebody can't hide. it's something about somebody's emotions that are building so much you still have that cowardly lion like they're not even gonna be able to keep that it's like they could have been a little intimidated a little scared i'm not calling your person a coward or anything but the, the way that, and i started off with this rose quartz no, so there's something about love. And um this is what many of you have been calling in. A love that is fine and divine. It's gonna age like fine wine. And look, what did that one card say? A fine love or something like that. 
We got this Queen of Swords out here again. Somebody's going to be pissed. This is Queen of Swords. I know it. Somebody's just going to be pissed. Just pissed. <laughs> you guys. Because this is the King of Wands coming in for like this Queen of Pentacles. Could be our Earth and Fire dynamic. With the Nine of Cups. The Wizard's Accolades. This person's feeling like if they could get you, like this could just be somebody who's accomplished a lot in their life. They got a lot of notches and accolades and under their belt, but it's something about you that this person, the King of Wands is a conqueror. That's a leader. Very go-getter like energy. Look, coming across some seeds for his baby. You see what that he the one in the waters. The King of Wands is the one whose source was tan to embrace the change of whatever. The what is what does that card say? The possibilities, the depths of whatever that card said. The oceans of change or something like that. Because, baby, what are you waiting on? It's this king of wands. I need to get his ass in that water. What are you avoiding? Your emotions? You're afraid to fall in love? That's what it is. It's too late. You're already in love. You're already in love. It's too late. You might as well get your ass on this boat. And, and, and direct themselves so you can get on this chariot. Because I feel like you the one who was that was talking about with them. It's you. It's, it's this king of wands. And I don't know why I feel like this king of wands watching this channel. It's this king of wands. Follow the yellow brick road. You and your person are just being led to each other or again. The white king. Because this ain't this ain't checkers. This is chess. Excuse me. Somebody first been finna what? Somebody first been planning this shit when I say they finna. And it's going to be like checkmate. Like what? Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. What is that song? Because I'm hearing it in my in my head. I don't know the word. <laughs> what is the word? Do 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 boom 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 boom. So six of wands again, baby. I don't know why. I just I just but party, baby, party. Somebody feel like you. You, 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 you're the victory. You're the upgrade. You're the whatever. Boom, 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 boom. You could be, definitely be an earth sign. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. So some type of ending, some type of rebirth with this death energy, Scorpio, with, again, the witch and Dorothy. The witch is, that's Dorothy. She was the main character with temperance. So be patient. Sag energy. Earth angel energy. It's giving very much so earth angel. You are an earth angel. The source is reminding you to be patient. You'll be waiting on some type of rebirth to happen for you with the magician. And then it's coming in for you. Everything that you've manifested is. Doom, 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 doom. Boom, boom. Especially if you're waiting on like some form of communication from somebody. Some form of good news. Uh, it's coming. <laughs> the hermit and the ten of cups could be a virgo uh, the virgo could become a toy somebody but baby somebody gonna be coming out of the hermit mode to but no baby what ten of cups ten of cups ten of cups ten of cups Hey, hey, let me stop because y'all, why, why break dancing is on? But yes, the Ten of Cups is what's coming your way, y'all. I don't know why I got so much energy. I came on here just knowing, like, yeah, it's one of those. Let me hurry up. This reading, this is not party time. It is not party time. Lay your burdens down. So I'm just saying somebody finna be able to lay their burdens down and take a rest, baby. Lay them at the wayside. Like, lay them by the river, baby. What's that song? River by... My heart's been mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know the lyrics, y'all. When I don't know the lyrics, I will hum. Damn, what is it? No, River by Leon Jones or something like that. Leon Bridges. Take me to your river or something like that. Mm -hmm. Whatever you thought of me, 
What is blood on my hands? And my lips are unclean. Take me to your river. I wanna go. Okay, because it's coming to me. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, when it's a download, it's supposed to give it to you. Oh. Take me to your river. I want to know the high priestess. Go. Take me to your river. I want to go. So somebody feel like you're very healing. You're very knowledgeable. You're very intuitive. And they feel like you have the... This person feel like you got the answer. Oh my God. Somebody could feel like you are this empath that they're feeling guided to, or you are some type of wise energy, some type of monk, or some type of high priestess that they're they're the chariot, cancer, Pisces energy. Somebody could be really feeling guided towards some type of like high priestess empath energy. Take me to your river. The devil could be a Capricorn, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, or this person has a lot of like um maybe toxic traits within themselves, or you that could be your sign. Let's see, because I'm hearing that song so strong. Let me see the lyrics. It says, I want to come near and give every part of me, but there's blood on my hands. Ooh, this is deep. And my lips are unclean. In my darkness, I re no, yeah, I remember mama's words reoccur to me. Wow. Surrender to the good Lord and he'll wipe your slate clean. Take me to your river. I wanna go. Okay. It says, Take me to your river. I wanna know. Dip me in your smooth water as I go in. As a man with many cries, come up for air. As my sins flow down the Jordan, oh, I want to come near you and give you. He said, oh, I want to come near you and give you every part of me. But there's blood on my hands and my lips are unclean. Take me to your river. I so somebody feel like they're unclean when they come to you. Somebody feels like they could have already messed up a lot of things in their own life or just in their past or this is how they feel internally. Remember, I felt like somebody was feeling like they weren't deserving or who would want to be for divine feminine. For some of y'all, this could be you because in Shrek, it was actually Fiona who was saying that. And yes, at one point he was alone because he felt like too that maybe somebody wouldn't love or accept him for who he is. But you see how this like y'all could be mirroring. But I feel like more so divine feminine too, it could be maybe you're this person that they're feeling guided towards. You have to learn to come to a place of love and acceptance for yourself. And you could teach this person a little something about that. And it's something about this person seeing you as like a guide or something like that, as a healer. Something about your healing waters. Um, but it's something about them feeling like, again, there's blood on my hands. I don't know if somebody could have like something that's going on in their life. They could feel like you're not going to accept them. Blood on my hands usually just symbolic for like, you know, just mess, muck, and things that you've done. And maybe you feel ashamed for it. Blood on my hands like it could be like literal, but I don't really feel like it is. Um, But it's given like... um. You know, maybe like the blood is on your hands. It's my fault. This person could blame themselves for a lot of things that have happened. Um, I don't know. Maybe something that happened between the two of you. But it, it, it's something here that I feel like this person is giving resolve. This person always feels like they want. To, it's giving like repentance. Like this person could feel like this person is being going through an awakening themselves. The star. I'm telling you, you are this healer that they're feeling guided towards. And you, Aquarius energy could be or Emperor energy could be a, a Aries. Heavy Aquarius though with this full card and the star. But I feel like, yeah, you can have an Aquarius stellium um, or two Aquarius placements, an Aquarius rising or sun for her. But somebody's taking a leap of faith. And I feel like it's this emperor actually towards this star. This emperor knows that this star-like energy, this healer is the one who's going to heal him or help to heal him. Three of swords. Because he could have had a broken heart or something about him. The empress, you are this empress. And he's, he knows he feels guided towards you for a reason. I'm telling you guys. And he could feel regretful. I don't know. For some of you, mm, maybe you know this person. Or he's just going through his own little things in his life. And it's like he meets you. And you like awaken or spark this. You reignite something within them. Or when they met you, you reignited something within them. 
and i just feel like they're realizing the power and potential within themselves potential but again there's something here yeah with this devil energy heavy capricorn too um definitely could be a capricorn here but this person had to outgrow some type of toxicity or you could be a capricorn okay one more card yeah i feel like divine intervention something about divine intervention we have the tower here so something is going to come together unexpectedly shockingly somebody could have a shocking revelation that they're 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 experiencing right now page of swords somebody's definitely what somebody watching you this person could be watching you already could be this trying to regain strength to come towards you to show you their emotions could definitely be a leo or you know you have the queen of cups here but it could definitely be a leo baby because now we got the ace of wands and the sun card here so somebody's going to express some form of emotion that they have for you queen alice like again this person knows that you are like the queen of their heart queen of their life and it, this person definitely with the ace of wands they could want to start some type of four of wands somebody want to marry you you saw that ring card somebody wants to start some type of passionate you really ignite you bring a lot of mm, this person be fired up when they see you like something about you really fire but it's hidden the moon here or like um maybe they want to keep things a little silent right maybe it's very silent about this i feel like too but i i definitely feel like this person is wanting this four of wands with you some type of new beginning that you're going to embark out on too because i just heard sort say too for some of you it, it's not love for some of you it is but for some of you it's just like this this ace of wands four of wands is some form of stability and and passionate new beginning that you're stepping out into for yourself again it's going to open many new doors for you you're going to love it you're going to feel more emotionally and vulnerably like uh happy and free very beautiful something about glass could be significant with the yeah with the will of fortune here something is it's i'm hearing careful with me somebody yeah could be somebody coming towards you baby but it's something about this timing of it all this is your will of fortune this is meant for you and i just feel like you deserve this meeting people again meeting new friends new people for someone that's not for everybody having fun i heard a wedding something about a wedding a tea party but a wedding more so with the messenger i'm seeing like sending out like invites a wedding invites or something that's significant follow the yellow brick road this is definitely what's coming in for somebody i always be like oh that's the last card it'll never be the last card i think i do want to just end it at the four of wands ace of wands energy even though we had the will of fortune i think that's the reading y'all 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 got this is already coming in for you it's been re reiterated how many times for some of y'all y'all gonna have some little minions <laughs> munchkins with this person um no this person has already fallen in love this they've already drank the potion that is you and this is could be some type of truth that somebody is realizing or accepting in a situation or they're going to be coming across so you could be expecting yeah okay i don't know somebody could be a, a capricorn dealing with a capricorn releasing some type of toxic energy before they come in with this the hierophant a, a taurus could be significant but um or taurus in the capricorn could be significant i heard new possibilities trust your heart listen to your heart you're getting a loud booming confirmation i love you guys like share and subscribe